It's Saturday, day after final assembly. Glenn's here picking up the Pro Mod. We want to go run through some history, a little bit of background on the car, what the plans for the car are, and what we've done. Let's go. This is Glenn Forster's Pro Mod. So, this was an ex Rob Campisi car. Back in 2011, this was the world record holder for the fastest Power Glide car, and correct me if I'm wrong, fastest door car in the world, running 595 at 260 mile an hour. So, Glenn is the new owner. Glenn's uh, redone a whole bunch of stuff on the car, got it personalised fit for him, and we've done a whole bunch of pipe work and, and a couple other bits and pieces on it. We'll have a quick walk around and I'll tell you a bit of history about the car. I had the pleasure of meeting Glenn back, I think it was a year or so ago, and we were getting chatting about uh, finishing up the Pro Mod, doing a couple other things to it. Now, uh, Glenn is no beginner when it comes to drag racing. So he's had a Pro Street car, um, and he's also crewed on some pretty cool things. When, uh, when I met him up at Willow Bank, he was crewing for Steve Vizina in his XW. Now that is a fast car. I think it's the fastest leaf spring car in Australia at the moment. So Glenn's old Mustang was uh, a very competitive car in the APSA series back in the day when that was a thing. So yeah, I can't wait to see him jump, jump into this and get this thing cracking. But we'll show you how we chucked everything together, everything we're done, let's go after it. So this is sheet metal work to clear the throttle pedal that is much further forward than it used to be. So what are you doing now, just tucking it up? Yeah. Just to make sure it fits? Yeah and then put a suede through it the right way around. Uh, Will's just finished up his tin work and we thought I might show you just quickly. So we have the tin work in. So the swage that he was working on continues from this, this swage that's already in the car and then comes up across our box and then meets back up. So it looks like it was meant to be there. So by the time we weld this up, a little bit of, little bit of sealer and everything, you won't even know it's, you won't even it's done. So then we'll, um, we'll put a flange on that and then we'll make a, uh, a piece that bolts in around this brake master cylinder, which you'll probably be able to see better on the inside. All we have left now is to final weld the pedal assembly and the firewall, and this will be all done, and then we can jump on to final assembly. It's a lot further forward than it used to be, so we've moved all the mount and everything and extended it um, about 100 mil forward. And this is where the pedal now sits in this little box. So it's got heaps more room than it used to have. But something else we've had to do is we have now made the trans mount removable. So we've had to put flanges either side just there. Super handy having the transmission be able to pop out the bottom, especially at the track. Something bad could happen or something needs to be checked over or we're chasing problems or issues. So it's really, really good that we can do that. Here's everything we have for the Pro Mod. So starting with the charge pipes, we have the Y piece. 
So this will go straight to the throttle body. So we've got a Wilson throttle body on this one, so it's V-band. Um, two Turbo Smart Race Port blow off valves on the back side of it. They're on some doubler plates just for some added strength. Then we go down to the charge pipes, nice and short, into the turbos. On the back side of the turbos, we've got some five inch aluminium exhaust dump pipes. That's what we call them down here. So they will go to our bullhorns out the side. Now, when we take you over to it, you'll see that we've got some side plates that we've, we've made for the, the front end. So in between runs and whatnot, we can pull the front end off without touching any exhaust or anything like that. The less we need to do bet between rounds, the better. So that's just a, a, a good helping hand in between runs. And then we've got the extractors were previously made prior to uh, us doing the fabrication. We've added on some wastegate mergers off the end of them that go to twin 60 mil electronic wastegates. They are electrically actu 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 actuated. So no vacuum lines, none of that. Just one plug, bang, sorted couple of water lines if you want to run them, but in this application, more than likely not. So we'll get all these all back on that 632 big block and get after it. Come along. Woo! Big deal. No. Stay tuned for part two, where we'll receive the engine back from being freshly rebuilt. We continue the plumbing, we mount the dry sump and oil pump, along with getting the car wired, and then be able to kick this thing in the guts and start her up. <laughs> I don't know why it said charged. <laughs> <laughs>